Is this 15A? Oh, uh, I think so. Oh. What, Excuse me. What are you doing? <laughs> Get off me! Oh! Get into the airplane! Oh. oh! I love flying! And meeting new people! <laughs> now you remind me of someone I know! My grandson! Oh, well, thanks, but this is my first time on an airplane. <laughs> oh, marvelous! You know, when I was a boy, we didn't have commercial airplanes. I can see why that would be of interest to you, uh, but uh, I'm going to be really honest here. I care very little about your old person life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm from Oklahoma. We went by a uh, horseback, a donkey cart, broom, wheelbarrow. In fact, I'm so old, my mother was what we called a wheelbarrow mother. Because uh, <laughs> when her contraction started, we had to wheel her ten miles to the hospital in one of them. We woke up to find our horse was dead. <laughs> Huh. They really shouldn't let you out of the house at all. <laughs> the lusty vigor of youth. Remind me of, uh, my grandson. <laughs> Good afternoon. Can I offer you a drink or some cigarettes? I mean, some martini. I will have ten. Oh, can we have some cigarettes and martini? Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea, son. Please, please, I, please. I, didn't, I didn't have my first cigarette until I was at least 14 to share with a giant rat I was sharing a trench with on the Western Front. <laughs> but, you know, I guess it's best we provide you with a safe environment with high-quality, safe cigarettes so you don't ruin your health. We'll, uh, we'll take, uh, what should we have? Some martini, then some Chesterton. <laughs> two packs. <laughs> you know, I'll take mine bone dry. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm of the opinion that too much vermouth breaks the battle. <clears throat> okay, um, I'll be right back with those. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my goodness! All flight staff, please return to your jump seats. The plane is now engaged in an uncontrolled downward spiral. May God have mercy on your souls. You know, when I was a boy, will life you, like this... Will I, you be quiet? This is a time for meditation and prayer. We were a simple family of four farmhands. Oh, you were a simply bitch ass. My favorite time of the day was the crack of dawn when Pa would come in from the fields the steaming bucket of fresh milk. Oh, I hate you! Milk, fresh from the teat. Oh, will you be quiet, please? <laughs> We're about to die, don't you see? I see, I see. I see it like it's coming towards me at a hundred miles an hour. But, son, I'm calm, and you know why? Why? Because we have to fly higher up to avoid things like balloons and carrier pigeons. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are saved. We've now passed through a tremendous air pocket, and the plane is flying again. You see? Oh, I think I'm going to have a heart attack. I need to get out of this thing. Now, son, you don't, you don't want to see a, a carrier pigeon slathered all over my window, do you? Oh, I can't take this anymore. I, I demand we fly closer to the ground. Son, we have to fly higher up. Just imagine the gray mess, the, the feathers askew, the, the message obliterated, the face unrecognizable. A carrier pigeon? A carrier pigeon! Oh. I don't give a shit about carrier pigeons or old people. I just want to get off this plane! Help me! Remind me a little bit of my grandson. <laughs> is there a problem here? Yes! Yes, this boy is creating a terrible disturbance. I think he's touched in the head. I think he's a communist. <laughs> he's certainly too old to be allowed on this plane. Okay. My feet are tired. This planet almost went down, okay? I'm gonna have to physically restrain you if you make any more of those eldest remarks, okay? They're racist and no one thinks they're funny. She's right. You should simmer down, boy. What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? You and your Mr. Rogers cardigan and your insanity. <laughs> Do you ever look in the mirror and reflect on kids these days? Do you ever look in the mirror and think that you should have died 20 years ago? <laughs> Corrupt! <laughs> I hope you have the pocket money to pay for those martinis because I'm not going to. Neither of you guys are allowed on any of our overpriced airline services. So you ought to make up and be friends again? We were friends in the first place. I'm sorry. That last remark about old people is cool. What's the point of old people anyway if they won't pay for your drinks? <laughs> okay, well, all the liquor spilled out of this cabinet. But I got a hit flask. To Harry Truman. I'll drink to that. Of course you will. You're an airline hostess. <laughs> To Truman and Khrushchev! <laughs> <laughs>